and I'm with uh, Gogo Scotani. Gogo Okot. This guy is an ultra male. How are you, my sister? Good, thanks, Cindy. Yes, good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you. So today, they're launching yes. Black Conversations. Yes. Hey! Yes. Hey! Yes. Hmm. Con con controversial fella. Wait again, Mona. But I wanna go to my panel and I want to see But it's worth it. Yeah. yeah. So topic how can? Now it's Black Love. Hmm. Is the Black Love? Does mm -hmm. Black Love exist? What is Black Love? And why are we saying black love? Does it exist? It does. Uh -huh. I've experienced it. It does exist. I've been loved before. I'm being loved now. Yes. So it does exist. Yeah. It has hiccups yet, but it exists. So I'm going to wanna right now, especially since the COVID. Manyalo a senyeka, the relationship, the atuwe, kamalapa, bona. Oh, who busy? Kimes. Yeah. So, so to keep um, a, a long, getting lasting relationship. Yeah. Advice. For me, um, the only thing that keeps me going, yeah. and the only thing that keeps my marriage strong, is respect. Yes. You know, we have this tendency that when we fight with our partners, we can say whatever. Mm -hmm. But you need to understand, in the midst of a conflict, I must still show you that I love you. I don't like what you're doing, yes. but my love, will my love for you will never change. So we have a problem of we can say whatever we want and talk anyhow just because we're angry. So we have to have um, emotional intelligence yes. that this is how I need to approach my partner, even though that he's wrong, but I need to come down and say, I don't like what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And at that particular time, don't expect them to listen to you yeah. or to hear you out Ooh, at that particular time. Yes. Let them digest it. Let yeah. them take their own time yes and then a, a week or later they'll come back to you even if some they don't mm -hmm. you just see by actions yeah that oh he had me he won't, he won't repeat it again your flowers nyana your baby i'm sorry you know they'll only say that when they finally hear yes. what you say you know i feel like you're speaking to me right now i feel like you're a preacher preaching because <laughs> Hey! <laughs> I know that because I've been through it. Yeah. Uh, about that particular person, when I talk to my partner, I would like them to understand now. Uh -huh. And that broke, that nearly broke my marriage. Yeah. Because he was not understanding me, and I would force yes. him to understand. Yeah. But now he understands the things that I told him a year ago, and he has improved on that. You, yeah. You know what? You know what, baby? I apologize now. I, I hear. I hear what Gogo <laughs> Scott is saying. <laughs> now I understand. <laughs> <laughs> even, even, even much. I want to ask you this question. So, between you and your partner, now when you guys are fighting, who apologizes like quick? I do. You're the first one to say. Yeah, I'm the first one to say sorry. But I still have the problem. When I say sorry, I want to explain why I did what I did. Hallelujah. So, I don't think that's a sorry enough. I yes. must just say sorry and close it. But at the same time, you must be careful. You must say what you are sorry for. For you not to repeat the same mistake. Yeah. Don't just say I'm sorry. Say I'm sorry for doing this. I'm sorry for cheating. I'm sorry for doing this. I'm sorry for th that. On its own, makes you a bigger person, and you will not repeat it. Yeah. But saying sorry is just only you want to close the chapter. You just want to finish. You. That's why you still repeat the same mistake every tomorrow. So I've learned that from myself. Nobody else. And currently, I'm doing just fine because now I'm able to to tell him that I'm sorry for speaking louder. We women have that problem. Yeah. We shout. Can I ask episode number man? I'm not too sure. I'm <laughs> like not too I wanna sure, tune in. But it's black love. I'm not too sure. And I hear the time is up but like yeah. I want to hear more. <laughs> like like people need to hear this side of you. Yeah. Because you know, people know that side of you but they yeah. also need to hear the side of you. I think yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're saying profound uh, thing, you. things here. Um, and um, on the eighth of May, mm -hmm. it's it's Ancestors Day. Oh yes. Uh -huh. So Castle Mixed Out is is pushing it, is hosting it. What 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 can you say about this day? I'm very much happy with what Castle Mixed Out does for African spirituality. It's my first time experiencing that, seeing yeah. that. It makes me, even though you, you you need to know that now I'm representing or my gift is being represented publicly to the world with no shame. So Castle Mixed Out is taking us Isangoma prophets. Or actually, I could say. The ancestral day is for everybody that lives in the world because we all have ancestors, yes. never mind the belief. Yes. So I don't think it's only for Sangomas, but it's for everybody. It's for a black child, it's for anybody that 
even if you don't believe in it, but to embrace your lineage. Mm -hmm. So I could say like it's a lineage celebration. So I'm very much happy with it, and um, I wish they can continue doing it each and every year. Surprisingly, two years ago on the eighth of it was the fifth of May, and then I said it's World Ancestors Day, and then boom, I see this. Thing, this concert that Castle Mixed Out is doing. I was like, oh, we connected, perfect. That and now we are perfect. here. And now we're here. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> the power of the tongue, the power of yes. believing. Yes. Wow, well Thank done, you. well Thank done. You. Good day, this is Okoko Sketsani Inti Zogadlamini Sleshanga. You are watching Africa Connect online.